Yes, well, it's going to be interesting, Scotty, because a lot of people, as uh, Prince Harry's book comes out next month, uh-huh. and a lot of people will have watched all this, the documentaries, and they will buy the book and read the book, so they'll see the book, they should be able to piece together, right, that's nonsense, okay, that is a part of truth. This is what they're they'll hoping for. Together, I'd imagine. Yeah, this is what they'll be hoping for, you see. Yeah, but uh, well, regardless, it's, it's obviously it has caused um, a stir. You know, tension. It's oh, it will have caused tension, and you know the palace used to never explain, never complain, but the palace yeah. have had to react quite a bit. So they'll have to think what the strategy is. Yes, well, the, an interesting statistic because they had people from the palace in the documentary. Uh, like their PR team speaking, uh, and they said the royal family, when you look at them through all the years, 70 years the Queen was here, etc., their approval rating has always been about between 60 and 80 percent. Oh, yes. And any, any politician would die to have that number. Ah. The only time the monarchy, there was a little bit of republicanism after Prince Albert died in 18, was it 1861, 1862, he died. And she went into mourning for a long time. And they were beginning to say, what's the point in having a queen if you never see her? And of course, there was no television or radio or internet or anything. So it was only if she was out and about. Yes. Um, you know, so that was the thing. So she was there grief stricken and, um, you know, she was just wanting to, to, to lick her wounds, so to yeah. speak. And the public were demanding that they see the Queen. And then yeah. her popularity at the end was massive. Yeah. You know, and if she'd been on telly, I mean, can you imagine the British Empire at its height, the great exhibition of... What was it, 1857, the Crystal Palace, uh, Queen Victoria, splashed all over the telly and the papers. And, yeah. the, and, and the internet would be massive. Mm-hmm. And, you know, nice. but the, 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 Edward VII, very popular. Um, George V, uh, very popular. George VI, very popular because he'd taken over uh, the heavy mantle of kingship from the brother. And, um, and most of the... Uh, most of the the heat, if you like, most of the vitriol was directed towards the Duke of Windsor, who had been very, very, very popular as Prince of Wales. You know, so it comes and goes. The Queen, nobody could fault her. Couldn't say a word against her. Charles, he seems at, uh, you know, at at Cheery Cove, and uh, he's with the, the woman he loves. And uh, Prince Philip, a great man, did so much for the monarchy. Mm-hmm. You know, so very, very hard work to get it all turned around. I think <coughs> Charles, has, King Charles has done a really good job since taking over. And you need to remember, he'll be still in mourning as well, obviously yes. losing his mother and then his father. And he's Prime just had his 74th birthday. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, I, I get, think, cut the man some I, slack. I think, um, Scotty, I think he'll have at least another five years and then he'll give it to uh, Prince William. I think he'll want to make some changes, do what he needs to do, and then he'll he'll pass it on. Well, I don't Um, know, because, you see, that involves an abdication. uh And one school of thought will be he deserves to retire. Another school of thought will be it's like a dereliction of duty. Because his mother, his mother, you know, I'm sure there were days she would have loved to have abdicated. Because, uh, you know, she, although she was idealist queen, somebody said this at a dinner party to me, and we, we all shot the poor soul down in flames, and I, next time I see him, I will apologize, because he said Princess Margaret would have made an excellent queen. And, of course, we all got stuck in and said, oh, I think the queen's done a pretty good job. But he didn't yeah. really mean that. He meant Princess Margaret personally would have been more suited to that office because she was she liked the limelight, whereas her yeah. sister didn't. Yeah, yeah. And George V said, God forbid that anything 
will come between Lilibet and the throne. Yeah. Well, I think that's what made it work over these years, the way she has been, though, Scotty. You know, um, and I just think that's uh, it's special. And people will be missing that. It'll be weird this year seeing the, the Christmas message uh, and it not of the Queen, but not being the Queen. King Charles. Absolutely. Kareem, I enjoy talking to you as ever. I have to dash. Take great care Thank of you. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, take my call. Bless bye, you. Bye. Catch up soon. Top man. That's our Kareem. Always a good call. And uh, what about the football tonight? You hear of an elf in the shelf. So there we are. Uh, a sweetener or thank you next. Uh, furry boots, you bet. Uh, Peter Pan, we're, uh, we're, we're fae everywhere, Ken. So there we are. Sophie, didn't you do? Sophie says, I'm bleeding. I'm not. It's just a wee rash. So there we have it. But I did have some paper stuck to my hat. Uh, Daniel has shared the live. Get following, guys, please. We need followers. Oh, off to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's me. Who's me? Hello, it's me. It's Curtis from Campbell County. Curtis from? Campbell County. Ah, lovely to have you with us, Curtis. Uh, well, I'm just calling it. <laughs> oh, you're having a wee laugh. Eh? Ooh, Curtis, you're a wee hoot. And uh, there we are. His pals have given it. <laughs> in the background. Uh, so there we are, dinky do. Scotty, uh, change your name to Frenchy just for the night. I am mean, uh, French. Uh, hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? You're live with what is going Who's that? Who's that? Yes, indeed. Is it you? Uh, there we are, correct. You heard. Up the jocks, Scotty. Up the jocks, Alan. Scotland would have had twice the support of England, says Lewis. Well, there we are. Everyone's telling me to become French for the night. Why? Why are they telling me that? I ask you. And there we are. You're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? You're live with Scottish phone in. Uh, well, I was got his money. There we are. Let's just dump that guy, actually. There we go. If he calls again, we shan't take the call. Now, here we got uh, opinions on Megan. Uh, we had his bud. Well, just been talking about it with Kareem there. Cheerio, England, and Viva la France, says Larry the Crab. He'll be popular. Your life has got his money. Who's that? Ah, uh, goody. Oh, good evening, matey boy. It's no me, boy. It's Professor Nuddy. Oh, Nuddy, I thought you were... Way. You sounded like the matey three boy. The three wise Nuddy. The three yeah. wise Numpties. What are you thinking about it? Absolutely. Now, Scotty, Scotty, listen. What? You, you're getting one or two. One or two Numpties coming on, right? Uh-huh. And... Can I give him some advice? Yeah. You know, me being a professor, I'm thinking yes. what I'm talking about here. Ken. My advice to the numpty eats out there is practice before you call. Make sure you've got your your call right. No, just Well, we need a name. And Th then panic and, oh, what am I going to say? And, and they cut you off. Yes. Cut you off, you know, because I feared. I can't think of any phone-in where all you need is a name. And it doesn't even have to be your own name. I know you I use your own you. name. You are Professor Numptyheed. We know that. Numptyheed, hang on a sec. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Tap the bell right now. Uh, you'll see the subscribe. Can you see the subscribe button? Right? It's obvious. And give us a thumbs up. Bottom left, thumbs up. Sorry, Numpty Heed. I just have to get them tilt. Well, you forgot to get them to tickle your bell, please, Scotty. I told them to tickle the bell. 